Hey there Cambly learners, my name is Ayanna and I'm one of the tutors on Cambly. Today you'll be learning some basic English spelling rules. English spelling can be rather confusing and without knowing the rules, you may spell the word love, like L-O-V, when it's supposed to be L-O-V-E. Today I will go over three basic spelling rules. First, let's look at that sneaky silent E, like in my example, L-O-V-E. Usually an E after a consonant at the end of a word is silent, but it also affects the way you pronounce the vowel that comes before the consonant. The E makes the vowel sound long, like I in bike, instead of a short sound like bitten. It's important to get the silent E right. If you leave it out, an E will change the meaning of a word. Let's look at some examples. This dog bit me. Be careful, those dogs bite. By adding the E to the end of bit, the word is changed from past to present tense. Don't cut yourself. The bunny is really cute. In this case, the silent E creates a totally different word. When adding a suffix like ED, ER or EST, the silent E is usually dropped from the end of the root word. For example, the dog bared his teeth at the stranger. The baby's eyes were the bluest I'd ever seen. I liked going to the park as a kid. Let's look at plural suffixes. When do you add S and when do you add ES to make a plural? The rule is this, if a word ends in S, SH, CH, X, or Z, you add ES. Let's look at some examples. You only had to take one bus. I had to take two buses. I got one wish. They got two wishes. You got a splotch on your shirt. She got two splotches. You're carrying one box. He's carrying two boxes. I wanted a spritz of perfume. She gave me two spritzes. For all other endings, add S. For example, I have one cat. She has two cats. I drank one cup. He drank two cups. I got one shoe. You got two shoes. I found one ski. She found two skis. I'm in one click. They are in many clicks. Be careful of words that don't change when they're pluralized, like fish, sheep, moose. You can have one fish or many fish, one sheep or two sheep, three moose, one moose. Lastly, we'll go over digraphs, words using GH, PH and F. All of these make the same sound. That's confusing, right? So let's review. A digraph is two letters which are used together to make one sound. So GH is quite an easy digraph. To remember, we only use it as an F after short vowel digraphs ending in U, such as cough, tough, and laugh. Of course, there are exceptions. Not all words which end in GH sound like F at the end. Think of words like do and though. The digraph PH is a little different. It was borrowed from Greek and it seems to turn up in many words. For example, in the beginning of a word like phone, in the middle of a word like alphabet, and the end of a word like telegraph. It also likes joining up with words with S, like sphere and sphinx. In fact, the only place you don't really see PH is at vowel digraphs ending in U. That's usually GH. Like all spelling, unfortunately, the only way to be sure to use the F sound correctly is to memorize them. Let's do a short activity. I will say a word, 
please try to guess the F sound it uses. Is it GH, PH, or F? After a few seconds, the correct spelling will appear. You ready? Okay, let's try. Phone. P-H-O-N-E. Food. F-O-O-D. Photo. P-H-O-T-O. -O. Rough. R-O-U-G-H. Feet. F-E-E-T. Alphabet. A-L-P-H-A-B-E-T. Enough. E-N-O-U-G-H. Nephew. N-E-P-H-E-W. Afraid. A-F-R-A-I-D. Trophy. T-R-O-P-H-Y. Laugh. L-A-U-G-H. Dolphin. D-O-L-P-H-I-N. Fish. F-I-S-H. Elephant. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. Tough. T-O-U-G-H. And we're done. How did you do? You can share in the comments on which words were the toughest. Great job, everyone. So today you learned three basic rules to help you become a better speller. That sneaky silent E, plural suffixes, and that tricky digraph of the F sound. Good luck and happy spelling. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Cambly, Cambly gives you instant access to friendly native English speakers like me. You can take English lessons anytime, anywhere, right from your phone or computer. Schedule your next lesson with me using the link below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.